Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. There is a luxury company called Monocarbon that makes all kinds of premium luxury goods from carbon fiber, and they sent me a box full of goodies. So we're gonna go through it, check them out one by one, see what's in here, and here we go. All right, let's go ahead and open this box up and get this thing going. And we can see right here, there's plenty of stuff in here. So let's just get everything out and, uh, and see what we're gonna have in here. So let's just get it all out of the box here. And uh, there we go. So we have everything here. It looks like there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things here that we have. So. All right, let's uh, let's start off with well, let's start off with the most obvious one here, which is the monocarbon case, and this is going to be for my iPhone. I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max, so let's go ahead and let's get this out of the uh, the box right quick, so we can take a look at it. And look at that, I love this presentation. It just slides apart. That was that's pretty slick the way they have this box uh, set up there. Let me see if I can get this thing back in there. So. Well, yeah, I guess the top part is not going back in right away, but that's pretty slick. And um, here is the case. We can see that it has the MagSafe uh, lining in there so that it's gonna work with that. And uh, yeah, this carbon fiber. Let me go ahead and take my, uh, let me take my, uh, my case off of my iPhone there. And let me just go ahead and put this in here and yeah, I like the fact that it pops on very easy right away and it's super duper light. I mean, it is very, very light. And you can see here the buttons are almost flush with the uh, with the case there. So some people may like that, they may not. It just depends on how you are. It doesn't have any effect, it seems like, on being able to push the buttons or not. It still seems like it works just fine. So on the bottom here we have cutouts for the uh, for the speakers and for the power button and on the back obviously for the camera so yeah pretty nice I guess I'll leave this on here for the remainder of the uh, of the video because this thing looks pretty nice I might just keep it on my phone all the time all right let's go ahead and move on to the next one here and I'm gonna grab this here and I'm not actually sure what this is so I'm not sure what most of this stuff is so I'm just gonna go through it and we're gonna see what it is as uh, as we go and uh, yeah, oh, all right, this is pretty cool. You know what's funny is this, I think, was actually what I wrote them about initially was to get this little wallet case, which is for the iPhone. This has one of the magnets on the back, and then this is where the wallet goes. So this is supposed to be a MagSafe phone, so let's see if it actually works. And yeah, we can see there it sticks on there. Now these magnets are not that strong. As you can see there, it just slides right off. So I'm not sure how well this is gonna work in your pocket, but. Let's go ahead and put a couple of uh, let's put a couple of cards in there and see how this works. If you put oh yeah, see like there already it just slid right off. So I've had a number of people say uh, that these MagSafe wallets are nice, but they're just not the magnets just aren't really strong enough to make most people feel safe and secure. So that right there is with uh, three cards in there. That's about the max that I would put in there. Anything else is gonna feel like it's too tight. So if I try and go, uh, if I try and go one more, you can see as soon as I try and push it back in there and even try and get this thing in here, it's really, it's uncomfortably tight. So I think three is probably the max and that's a little bit tight itself. But you can see here, that it looks really nice. The the carbon fiber matches, so it looks really nice, and it's it's a pretty, still it's a pretty thin profile. It's not too bad there. So, um, but you can easily just take this off if you wanted. Put this in your pocket, and uh, the only part that you know, once you pull it off, you can push it up from the back. There's that hole right there, so you can push that up, and uh, and get your cards out. And uh, yeah, so. Um, yeah, I have to say it's it's okay. I'm not the biggest fan of this style of wallet. I guess when I look at this, I'm not the biggest fan of the style of wallet. Um, I'm not. I actually like the materials and I like the way that it fits and and feels and looks on the phone. I think they did a fantastic job with the manufacturer of the wallet. I'm just not the biggest fan, I guess, of this style of wallet. So, um, anyways, let me go ahead and put this back in here, and that that's pretty nice. I will say. I like it, but um, I just, I'm not sure that one's for me. All right, let's put that in there. Let's go ahead and check this out here and see what this is. And it looks like we have a money clip. 
Very nice. So we have a money clip. Uh, it's, uh, I believe this is carbon fiber. On the inside, it has sort of a red accent there. And uh, it's nice and thick. A lot of people like thick uh, money, uh, money clips as far as the, I shouldn't say thick, but wide money clips. Some people like them thin, but some people like them really, uh, really sort of thick there. So, but let me grab some cash here. Let me grab my wallet and uh, let me just pull my, uh, let me pull my cash out of there. And here we go. So we have some cash we can put in there. So let me just, uh, let's see how this thing is gonna fit. So I think, let me see, this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 bills. So that doesn't seem like that's a, you know, like that's an inordinate amount of bills. It seems reasonable. So, but let's see how this fits. And uh, yeah, there we go. That's what you can expect as far as the look on there. It seems like it's, uh, like it's going to fit rather nicely. And there's just a little bit of branding on there. You can't really even see it. It's hard to even see. Like if I get the light just right, you might be able to see where it says monocarbon um, on there, just right along the bottom edge right there. But that's about it. So yeah, all right. Let's see once I take this out. Yeah, it still seems to hold nicely. So big ups on them. Okay, well, let's get that back in there. I like this a lot. I like that red accent in there. I think that looks really, really nice. Um, this over here, it looks like the same size box, so I'm going to see if this is going to be a, a money clip as well. And uh, let's try this out. So, yep, here we go. We have another one. And this is going to be also a carbon fiber one, except this one's going to have a blue accent on the inside instead of a red accent. So that's really kind of nice. Um, all right, let's see what this one, uh, if it's going to have the same great sort of uh, performance there as far as... Uh, locking stuff, everything, locking it in, and yeah, it feels nice and uh, secure in there. You don't have to worry about your bills falling out. It's a little, little, little loose on there, but not, not so much. And uh, but it seems like it's not going to come off. It, it's not just like easily going to come off. You have to actually, you know, apply a little bit of force to get that off. And once you uh, do that, you can see there it still maintains its uh, its shape there, so it's not going to bend or go anything, go crazy or anything. So, all right, <clears throat> I like that. All right, well, that one has sort of a blue accent, so um, let's go on and to the next thing here. And this, if this is going to be a, let's see, what is this going to be? This is going to be a, ah, it's a wallet. This one is a wallet and money clip combo. So look at that. All right. So it looks like we can, uh, we can put some cards in here. So let me just grab these and... Uh, I've never actually owned one of these style of wallets before. I've seen them a lot, but I've never actually owned one. So let me just grab and put some cards in here. And you just slide those in right there at the edge. You just grab them and um, you just grab those and just slide them in and they go right in there. So, and then you have, I don't know how many, how many of these, uh, how many cards this wallet will hold, but it looks like from the elastic on there, you can probably fit a lot of them in there. I mean, you could probably fit a whole bunch of cards in there if you needed to. So I don't know. We'll just put one more in there and see if we can get this. So there we go. So that's, um, I think that's about six cards in there I have. So, but you can see here, you have a little part right here, a little cutout that you can use to actually push, uh, push the cards up. So you push that right there, and then that gives you access to, to grab the cards and pull out the one that you need. So if you wanted to, uh, to grab this one, you grab that one. And then when you're done, you just push them right back in. Everything stays nice and secure in there. Now you do have a money clip on there as well so that you can, um, so that you can put your, uh, your bills in there. And then there you go. So now you have your whole wallet there. Now I will say the money clip seems like it's a little loose. Uh, it definitely seems looser than the other one. So um, you might want to be careful with that, that when you pull this out of your pocket or something that the, that your bills don't come loose. So, um, but yeah, this is a, this is a very small compact sort of uh, setup here. So if you wanted to put in say like your ID in here, uh, a couple of credit cards, a debit card, and, and then have your bills on this side. You can have a really nice compact wallet. So, yeah. All right. Well, let me go ahead and uh, let me, let me uh, pull the, push all this stuff out of there and uh, get that off. And we'll set this back inside over here. And, um, 
and get this, uh, let me put all this stuff back inside so it stays together. And let me go ahead and see what this is. So let me put this money over here. I don't think I need that right now. And oh, box sort of is falling apart on me a little bit. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, this is going to be a uh, this is going to be a car mount, and it looks like it looks like it doesn't say what kind of mount it is, but it, no, I don't think these are magnets. But I don't know. Let me just sit. Oh yeah, it is. Look at that. These are magnets, so that you can actually get those, so that you can um, you can put this in the car and you don't need any uh, clips or anything. You just go ahead and use the magnetic. Um, the MagSafe thing on there to get that going. So that's really nice. All right, big ups. And this part just goes in here. You just separate, you just uh, unscrew that there. And uh, let me take that off, I'll show you. Just unscrew that, put the little ball in there, just slip that in. And uh, I believe that's how it is. Oh, hold on, I think I need to, uh, I think I need to put that right there. Now I slipped a little ball in and now I can screw that down and, uh, and get that locked in once we get it once I get it lined up, I just have to get the, there you go. You line that up, screw it in, and there you go. Now this part is going to, I believe this is going to hook onto your, um, onto your vent or something there so that you can have that locked into place. So yeah, and then once it's all in there, you just simply click that in and there you go. Oops, fell off a little bit. That's a little worrisome. Oh yeah, you don't want that to happen, not when you're driving. So. Um, one thing I've noticed, the magnets on this stuff don't seem like they're the strongest, so, but, yeah. Anyways, there you have it. That is that. That is the car mount there, so let me just set that off to the side. We'll take care of that in a bit. We have one last thing here, and uh, and I'm pretty sure I know what this is, because this is shaped like a pin box, so um, I'm almost certain that this is going to be a pin, and I love pins, actually, so... Um, while I plan on giving some of this stuff away later on in a different video, this will probably not be one of them because I absolutely love pins. So, but here we go. This is a uh, monocarbon uh, pin, and we can just, uh, I don't think that screws, I think just pull it, and then there you go. And there is, a, I haven't actually even taken the tip off because I just opened it, so I'd have to take the tip off to see how it actually writes. But you can go ahead and click that right there on that side. And now you have a nice pin that's made out of carbon fiber and, you know, other materials. Has a little bit of branding there. But, yeah, that's pretty nice. Now, it looks like this part right here, it doesn't, it, I think that's just plastic. At first, I thought maybe that was a stylus tip on there so that you can use it with your phones or tablets or something. But I don't think that it is. I think and because it's not soft rubber, I wouldn't recommend you actually using it for that. So, yeah, um, it is flat on the bottom. So, I'm not sure if this will stand up, but, yeah, no. All right, well, there we have it, that is it. Those are all the goodies that Monocarbon sent me and as we can see, it's a lot. They sent me quite a few things and some very, very cool ones that I will be using. But because I love to share stuff with my audience and they sent me so much, check out future videos because I will be giving, uh, I will be giving some of this, in fact, most of this away so that I can get it out there and share it with everyone else. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is it. That is a look at some monocarbon goodies there. We have phone cases. We have money clips. We have wallets. We have wallets with money clips. There, were, there was a pen. There was even a phone mount. They really sent some wonderful things here. A lot of really premium carbon fiber luxury items. And I'm going to leave a link to, well, everything down below in the video description so that you can check them out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach out to me elsewhere and say hello and have any and ask me any questions if you want. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon and until next time. Love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.